Hello, and welcome back to Sam's eternal struggle against mildly uneven and slightly rocky terrain. Last time we completed quite a long journey all the way from Lake Knot City with a miniature nuclear device in tow, which we threw into the water, or the tar pit, as Fragile called it. And we ended up making a delivery and reconnecting, finally, South Knot City. And now we have to figure out what comes next. We were told to take a look outside because there were elevated levels of Chiralium. Now last time we were told this, we got a boss battle. So maybe, just in case, let's go ahead and remove anything that we are not going to need for fighting. I think guns are always good to have. They certain, certainly loaded us up on guns, but I don't think we need mobility tools. Blood bags are a must. Can never have too many blood bags. What we can do is also, finally, replace our boots, which somehow we lost our replacement pair. It must be somewhere else, at another station, perhaps. Maybe we lost it when we fragile jumped back north. So let's make sure to get a fresh pair and uh, also check if we left anything on the bike. No, we didn't because it was the long range model. And of course, we can now print handgun, assault rifle, and grenade. I'm sure there's associated training that we can do now. But let's hold off on that. Just go ahead and put these on. And our old pair... We'd rather recycle it, but no, we can't do that. We have to go to the recycle menu first because they have to make it, they have to make us work for our minor amount of re reclaimed resources. It's only fair. And no matter how fast I mash A during that cutscene, I don't get the ability to skip it until a couple seconds. And what else were we going to do? Oh yes, print off another pair of boots. Our backup boots. I should have just made two. Because we have what's called a boot clip. Take a look if there's anything else in our private locker. Nope, nothing other than what we just put there. Yes, we could go to the firing range, but we're going to hold off on that until we investigate this mysterious chiral density. Thank you for your contribution. Let's go ahead and make a save so we don't have to repeat all of that inventory shuffling. Pleasant journey. 
find a way to escape the battlefield. What the? Well, we won't be... We won't be doing much, I guess. Where where did all of our stuff go? We have an anti-BT handgun. Let's just get our strand ready for now. I'm not sure... These are an actual threat. Oh, hey, look, it's our stuff. Perhaps... can just shrug off bullets because we have crypto biotes now. I meant to auto arrange our cargo. Well, we should have been really stocking up on crypto biotes, shouldn't we? No, I didn't want to do that, believe it or not. Now I have to auto arrange again. Thank you, game. Well, it's a good thing we knew that we would need them going into this. Oh, that's right. We didn't. Well, let's just make a beeline and hope for the best. So I kind of would like to take in this scenery. Centers and war analysts. The tank is looking down the light. Oh, come on. I didn't want to eat, I wanted to pick up. What's the word? Eldritch. Ow. What is the elaborate set of buttons I need? There we go. I love soothing BB in the heat of battle. Normally it tells us when BB is satisfied, but not today. So here's something I just realized. The blood bag automatically refills our blood, but it doesn't give us a chance to use a crypto biote. So if we aren't cramming crypto biotes at the slightest chip damage, we're basically... We're basically, uh... Consuming pointlessly our precious bodily fluids.
find the mysterious man. And perhaps we will go in prepared. Where was that asshole anyway? With what appears to be a nerf gun. Are we we already did what it told us? Are we finding him? Or are we shooting him? Ooh, shotgun. Where am I? It is, of course, the man from our dreams. Nope. way. Well, I'm kind of interested in that shotgun because we don't have one of those. They took their time shooting. Convenient for us. X to reload. Classic. We'd better take a crypto biote before our blood bag gets used up. No. It really does just. What are we doing? Doesn't seem to be a benefit from headshots. Maybe a little bit. Goodness. Are we still searching for the mysterious man? Maybe let's follow... Let's follow BB. Oh hey, it's the mysterious man. Let's try the shotgun. Oh. It's okay, we tank the damage. No, we tank the damage. Just over here. Oh, the camera keeps pulling in and out. Is that it? Or was it merely one of his shadow puppets? We need, we need reinforcements. I really don't like how. I don't control blood transfusion. Maybe. It just happens. They keep mentioning utility pouches. That's something I'm not sure we have. Oh, we do. When did that happen? Hmm. Well, we're going through them at a fairly fast clip. Still finding the mysterious man. Now, why do we have to pick up an entire separate gun rather than just ammo for the gun? Let's follow BB's cue, and also the trail of fire and flames. 
Does it reload? Yes, it does. It's it's a cheating type of reload. So just hold X. Yeah, it's like the field of view is changing constantly, and uh, it's not not fun, especially when we haven't really had this sort of gameplay up until now, but they've gone fairly easy on us. So I can't fault them too much. Always nice to have some variety. Remember. I see. I see some suspicious uh umbilicals. Doesn't seem to be much point in crouching all the time. Maybe. This is not a cover based shooter. Quickly before. Oh. See, he spawns two enemies. So I kind of thought he would. We have grenades too. But I'm not thrilled at the idea of getting one out in the heat of battle. Oh, autotoxemia. Well, we'd better take care of that. We'll be here for a while. We need reinforcements. It's not playing the rockabye music. I can't remember. riveting gameplay our punishment for daring to be near an enemy of any type or to take damage now this is video games this is what we are here for. Because we dare to have a weapon at the ready, we're walking extremely slow. I like to use the assault rifle for for the cannon fodder enemies. Ooh, another shotgun. Sam just takes up so much of the screen that it almost feels like crouching doesn't make much difference, actually. Just finding our way to the mysterious man. I don't think the smoke has any effect. Lucky us. I thought we could just follow where BB is pointing. I think we have. I think we can. I, 
I wish I could describe how bad the aiming feels. I'm not I'm not entirely convinced that it isn't just me not playing a console shooter for a while. But I have played, in my time, quite a lot of these games. Did we run out of crypto biotes? I guess we did. If I just mag them. And down he goes. I guess we'll be waiting for... The blood transfusion does take a little bit to kick in. That's good. We need, we need reinforcements. reinforcements! Hmm. We better keep picking up blood bags every opportunity we get. Oh, the camera is so low. Well, I sure am complaining a lot. Oh. That wasn't that interesting. I had I had been wondering if Oh, we better get rid of used stuff. I'd been wondering if Things could get knocked off your your pile, and indeed they can be. It's very rare that we are in an overhead environment. Oh, should have reloaded. There's barely any feedback whatsoever when I take damage. The most I see is the blood meter dropping. Just now, I, I don't even... I didn't even notice a controller vibration. And I think they're behind us. Little, tiny little vibration. We better get to safety. Transfuse. They just appeared in front of and behind us. With not too much warning. Well, that was different. I'm sure it was quite obvious, but that wasn't that wasn't my favorite sequence of this game.
We've not been using contracts or upgrade co-op requests. As I suspected, we would not need them. Sam, do you read me? Yeah. Everything okay? Where am I? Say again? What happened to me? The second you left the distribution center, the storm blinked out. Just like that. Chiral density dropped almost as fast. I got caught in the storm and I was in a war zone. You been daydreaming, Sam? Comms were only down for a second. No, it was much longer than that. There was this soldier. He tried taking my baby. If you say so. <laughs> a little one can vouch for me. Sam, it's been less than a minute since we last spoke. I can't be right. I was there for, for hours, it felt like. Maybe you should rest a bit. Never mind. Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. Yeah, I know. You're good, right? Be careful, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while since I've had company. Sam, proceed to Mama's lab. Mama was part of the Cupid R&D team. However, from the start, she had concerns about its long-term viability. Felt Cupid's had fundamental flaws, which might explain the strange phenomenon you experienced and the spike in chiral density. You should pay her a visit. See what she has to say. I find the game's fascination with just offloading all of our stuff um, to be a bit frustrating. And I'm sure I could complain more about that last little sequence, but I think we've all heard quite enough of that. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. You saw, you saw how it was. Mama's lab is not quite in the area. I'd like to get our stuff back. Get kitted up. And... Of course, we didn't... No, we have a good amount of blood grenades. That's quite the stack. It seems we actually did take some of the... We did take all of the things with us. So maybe that's why it unequipped everything. Hmm... Well, let's hold on to these for now and recycle because we can't, <laughs> we can't just have magazines. No, we have to buy an entire gun. We'll just get rid of the ones that are empty. So we have shotgun full, anti-BT handgun, a normal handgun, another anti-BT handgun. We don't need two of those. One grenade is actually five uses. 
So instead of recycling, we'll just go ahead and put that in storage. I really wish we could just combine... Combine ammo between these two. Um, we'll keep that assault rifle. It's, it's fairly, fairly good on ammo. We'll recycle these. Well, let's see if we, if there is some way to combine. No, it just says return to original location. And then what? Nope. No way to combine magazines, to consolidate mags. This is not Arma. Okay. Do we really need a shotgun and an assault rifle and a handgun? Probably not. Let's let's confirm recycling first. See how much bulk we have. The thing that's unfortunate is despite the fact that we've increased our carrying capacity in terms of weight, it doesn't affect the size, the physical volume of materials. So as our capacity increases, the massive towering stack on our back grows ever taller. Which means there's kind of a practical limit regardless of the weight. So I'm always very tempted to Eliminate as much as I possibly can. Oh, oh! I did want to get rid of the grenade in the private locker. And do we need this many climbing gears? Yes. See, this is uh, this also bothers me. There's two and one, and they're both now taking up a sm two small slots, and there's no way to combine them. Well, as long as the game was designed with that in mind. It's okay. Yeah. The shotgun's medium. Well, let's hold on to these and, and we'll see what we feel like using. I have a strong suspicion that there isn't much need to have three different lethal options, that the, the assault rifle is probably sufficient. It's probably the most general purpose of the options. The shotgun is probably good for close quarters, as it mentions. But if we're close quarters, why not use one of our non-lethal options or... I don't know. Maybe we'll hold on to it if we do end up in a situation where, for whatever reason... We need to do a large amount of damage very quickly, and we're nice and close. Thank and I do want to check out the firing range. But I think we'll go see what Mama has to say first. And as always, we have electricity in here but it's not going to charge our bike for us. We'd have to go find a generator or build one ourselves. Thanks, game. Usually there's one right outside, conveniently placed by another player, which maybe that's the reason that they, they didn't put one in here, because it's another way it encourages interaction between players. I can respect that. It just is a little bit silly that there's obviously plentiful electricity. Where are we headed? Charged up.
how are we getting there? We just drive. Looks like it's on the other side of the bridge. The collapsed, or not a bridge, but more of an overpass that collapsed. Can we get through? I don't have high hopes. No, I guess we get to go around. Well, we are getting rusty. I don't remember it taking damage so quickly. Maybe it's because we never actually repaired it. I wanted to check how much damage the bike has. I'm not actually sure <laughs> the best way to do that. I don't think we can do it through the cargo menu. There, she's down. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. So about the supercell. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, 
Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times. HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelium. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse, it caused another death stranding. Oh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new Cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Great. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a Cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Oh, here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. Maybe the other side wants her back. Or maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. Then the terrorists hit us. under the rubble. Nothing to do with wait. And wait. Ah. Felt like forever. But no one came. They say it air. And water. I 
gave birth there in the rubble. But instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. ever since but she's a bt the ties that bind her to this place bind me too you could say i've never really been discharged and you're okay with that i mean you know she's gone you want to live your life in the shadow of the dead come on you of all people you chose the dead over the living why else would you be here I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already believe me in my sleep. A bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want to run a test. Mama, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Um, would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But it's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. So we got to learn a little bit more about Mama and her backstory and finally meet her in person. And I think that's gonna do it for this episode. So we'll come back for more Death Stranding next time.